Mr. Telecano and I are on our way to Radio Bruno. I have my matcha balls. It's 7.53. We'll be on air at 8 a.m. It's cold outside. They're not opening it up. He's one of the presenters on the Strana Coppia. Yes, sir. I'm our Strana Coppia, the old couple. Yes, sir. <laughs> it would be uh, the strange couple. This is the ball of Mozart uh, in uh, America. Kind you know? Of. Yeah. yeah. The energy of the journey. Come on Let's into go. the uh, studio. <laughs> walk in, walk in. <laughs> works here. Her name is Clarissa. Oh, no, it. See this way in a one job. Hey, 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 Hello, we are arrived at to bye bye. We are very affronted. I am very trist. See you later, Collins, uh, alligator. Love this guy. Bye bye. Bye bye. It was so funny. Alrighty, we're gonna go to the center of Carpi. I went to his restaurant in Milan. I actually got to go in the kitchen and do a short interview with him. And instead of gawking over like new fashion, this is what I get really excited about. Plates! And I want to bring more. <sighs> I got Lake Sunset and it smells so good. I'm not particularly crazy about the design, but I love what's inside. So it's like a good book, can't judge it by its cover. It's Carnival in Italy, and this is one of the typical carnival sweets, and it's called frappe. It's basically dough that's been fried. They're both with sparrow. It's a type of ancient grain, has a higher protein content and a lower amount of, thank you. Gluten that I often cook with, and you'll find lots of re recipes on italicanakitchen.com. This is very typical from the region of Emilia. It looks like a pop tart. Find this recipe on my website, italicanakitchen.com. This is the Duomo, and this is one of the biggest piazzas in Italy. to regulate the different quantities or the color because I don't want to brown the juice. I want it to really be bright with color and I want it to taste good. And I've also used the, the smaller, the clean juice instead of the, the larger grater. Also to see what kind of juice I want. I want it to have a more pulp or a clean juice and have it more liquidy. This is really good. The, the ginger gives it that right amount of spiciness. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Do you think it needs more lemon? Let's try it with a little bit more. When you put in uh, a lemon in the juicer, it's best to zest them first because the peels sometimes are hard to digest. I put in here three organic carrots, five organic strawberries, two organic red apples, just a little knob of organic ginger, one organic lemon without the zest. This is the first time I've actually juiced. I'm a beginner juicer, but I'm already really excited because imagine how much food I have to eat and I'm getting my daily servings in, um, in a glass and it's also really tasty. Uh, it's lunch time. It's 3.30 p.m. But we did have juice, but now I've decided to take Italicana to a whole new level. This is really a crazy recipe. We have farro, and then I've made homemade matcha spaghetti, and then I have some spinach kale pesto. I've grated some organic lemon zest, and then I have some almond butter. Oh, and then I drizzled some coconut oil on top. Let's try it out. Oh, you still me? Yeah, this is really good. Good way to use leftovers. And I'm gonna start experimenting more in other recipes. I think what really makes this stand out is like coconut oil on top. It's so flavorful, but it just makes everything else harmonize together. Really good discovery. Do one thing that scares me every day. 
What's the one thing for today? Speaking in Italian on the radio. It's so much fun to be on the transmission to talk about food and wine trends. Even though I love this experience, I always am a little bit intimidated because I speak in Italian. It's quite embarrassing because it's live. Even though I'm scared and I'm nervous and I have this resistance, I still step up to the plate and I do my best even if I know I'm gonna make a few mistakes because the result and being satisfied with this accomplishment is better than these small uh, grammatical errors. If any one of you is learning a language, I definitely recommend getting up and practicing, practicing, not being afraid. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. 